How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. I feel like I'm losing my mind. How you can literally set any song as your iPhone ringtone for free. And when I say any song, I do mean any song. So you can get your favorite songs, the songs that you love, and set as your iPhone ringtone completely 100% for free. And the coolest thing about this process is that it's updated to iOS 16, so it works on all devices. Okay, so all you need to do this is actually this application right here, GarageBand. And GarageBand, as you probably know, is one of the most famous Apple applications. It's on the Mac, and it's also here on the iPhone. And being an Apple native application, of course, it's free. So go ahead and look for GarageBand on your iPhone. If you don't have it, no problem. All you have to do is open up the App Store, look for GarageBand, and download it, okay? And this is GarageBand's icon. Now, all you have to do is open it up, and then it's in landscape, so then we're gonna need to rearrange our iPhone real quick. And as you can see right here, I'm doing this for the first time with you step by step. So first screen is welcome to GarageBand, we can continue and then continue once again, allow notifications if you want to, and here you're gonna slide to the right again and again and again until you see audio recorder. Then tap on the option, and then that's where we're gonna work. The first thing you need to do is tap on the little metronome icon which is highlighted as blue as you can see right here. So tap on it to make it white, otherwise it'll just not work, okay? After that, you're gonna need to tap on this little icon right there which looks like a brick wall, so it's the third icon from left to right. So tap on the little icon and then it's gonna flip and here we're gonna start working with the song. After that, just tap on the plus icon in the top right hand corner to add this song. It's a teeny tiny plus icon as you could see. And then right there, you'll see eight bars by default. Tap on eight bars and then change from eight to 30. That's right, one by one until it reaches 30. And then you can leave automatic off, just like mine is automatic off 30. Then tap on done. And then we're pretty much set right here. And then what you're gonna do is actually tap on this little loop icon. So it's the second icon from right to left. Tap on the little loop. And then right here is where we're gonna actually add this song. We have here preset songs, but that's not what we want. We wanna actually tap on files. And on files, we need to manually select this song that we wanna use as our ringtone. So it's super important that you have the song downloaded in the files app to actually make this work. You can download any song that you want in any format that you want. As you can see here, AIFF, WAV, CAF, Apple Loops, AAC, and of course, MP3. So go ahead and download from a favorite website, from whatever method you wanna use, download your song, the song you wanna use as your ringtone, and make sure to put it in the files app. Okay, I have already done that, so all I have to do is tap here on Browse Items from the Files app, as you can see, and it's this one, it's that song that you heard in the intro, so tap here, and then this song will load in a few seconds, as you can see, there we go. By the way, if you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to use the Files app, I do recommend that you go to this video right here that I'm gonna put in the card, and then watch that video on how to use the Files app and you learn how to download songs from the internet and put it in the Files app and manage it and all of that, okay? So, now that we have this song right here, all you have to do is tap and hold, okay? We're gonna tap and hold on the file, on the song itself, so tap and hold. And as you can see, as we move our finger, we have the song right here. So we can place it right here at the beginning of the timeline at the top, so at the top, left at the beginning of the timeline. And here we have the song, we can tap on play just to check it out. So as you can see, it's the exact same song that I want that I showed you in the intro. Of course, you can edit the song as well by simply double tapping here, and then you can easily use this handle and uh, select where the song actually begins, and then you can move it around and all of that. But I do want it just like this, okay? I do want it like that. So for me, it's perfect. And then from here on, we can already create the ringtone by tapping here on the arrow pointing down, the first icon, okay? And then tap on my songs, let it do its thing. There we have it. 
This is the song that I created before to show you in the intro. And this one right here, my song two, is the one I'm creating right now, okay? Now, all you have to do is tap and hold. And as easy as that, you're gonna actually scroll down a little bit until you see share. So tap on the share button, and then the middle, the option in the middle, ringtone, as easy as that. So tap on ringtone, and then continue. It's gonna adjust as a ringtone perfect. Here you can pick the name of the ringtone. Let's put here, my song YouTube. Just so you know, that's exactly the one. Okay, so done. So my song YouTube and then export. So tap on export. It's gonna export as a ringtone. It just takes a couple seconds, so I'm gonna wait with you. There we go, successful. So you can tap on okay. And then we're done, guys. You can actually leave uh, GarageBand. Let's move it to the correct orientation as we're used to. And then you can just go ahead and go to settings, sounds and haptics, and then ringtone. And as you can see, my song YouTube, the one we've just created together. And as I tap on that, As you can see, that's the song. And keep in mind that we get vibration, it's a perfect ringtone, it vibrates, it's perfect, so it's an actual ringtone. And then, that's it. That's how you can set any song as your iPhone ringtone for free in iOS 16 updated method, okay? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.